Did you know that Lightroom has a targeted adjustment tool that allows you to select and change colors within your photo? Well, if you didn't know that, then this is the video for you, where we're going to be going over three amazing hidden tools found within Lightroom to dramatically change how you edit your photos. And I'm gonna start right now. So my first tool is actually a sharpening slider found with inside the details panel. Now sometimes if you've shot at a very high ISO, like this photo here shot at ISO 4000, sometimes you're going to need to remove that grain, but in doing so you'll end up softening the image. So you go ahead and sharpen the image, again introducing that grain back to your final photo. So how can we balance the sharpening of your photo while not adding sharpening to the background where then we're introducing more ISO grain? Well what we can do is go to our photo here, drop down to where you can see it says details inside the details panel, and we're gonna go ahead and sharpen our photo back again. But as you can see, in doing so, what we're doing is we're adding more sharpening to that background, and it just ends up making it look really bad. So what we can do is hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard, go to the masking slider found right at the bottom here, and go ahead and slide it to the right. This will show up an overlay, and what you want to do is to make sure that your background is black while your foreground is white. What this will do is only add sharpening to the white areas. And if your background is black, it means it's not adding sharpening to that area. So we can get a beautiful balance between reducing ISO noise while still keeping your image nice and sharp. My next tool helps you out when you've got spots and blemishes within your photo. Now sometimes you've changed your lens and you've ended up getting dust on your sensor. Then you go ahead and take a photo and you've got spots and blemishes all over your photos. Well, not to worry because all we need to do is scan for them then remove them using a new tool in Lightroom Classic. So let's take this photo here. We can see we've got spots and blemishes all over the sky and sometimes it's quite difficult to spot them on your photo. Luckily in this case, you can see there's quite a few of them. So what we can do is go over to the right Right hand side, go to our spots removal tool, then go right to the bottom where you can see it says visualize spots. This has a slider that you can slide left and right to better represent where the spots are in your photo. Then all you'll need to do is go ahead and select a fairly small brush and then simply remove these spots and blemishes from your image. Now obviously you can do this without using the visualize spots tool, but it makes it so much easier to firstly scan for them, then remove them in Lightroom. And my last hidden tool, and don't worry, I've saved the best for last, is called the Targeted Adjustment Tool. It makes it so much easier to change your color as well as change your exposure inside your photo. So let's take this photo here. Let's say I want to darken the overall greens or change the greens. Well, usually I'd go to the Color Mixer tool. I'd go to my color bands. You can see here, I'd go to over to my hue and I'd slide the green until I've got the right result. But sometimes it just doesn't give you the effect that you're after. And that's because you're not selecting that exact color. We can do that by going to our targeted adjustment tool, which is this little circle here. All you need to do is click it to activate it, go to the color that you want changing in your photo, clicking and dragging up to make it more green or dragging it down to make it more orange. And what's also nice is it also works in saturation. So what I'm gonna do is make that green here. I'm gonna go ahead and click the color I want, moving it upwards makes it more saturated and bringing it down makes it less saturated. And it works also in luminance. I can brighten that color by clicking the color, dragging it up to brighten it and dragging it down to darken it. And you can see it's predominantly affecting the yellows and greens within our photo. And what's also really nice is it doesn't just exist in the color mixer panel, it also exists in the tone curve panel. So what we can do is turn off color mixer, go up to tone curve, Again, go ahead and select our targeted adjustment tool, go to the part of the photo you want brightening, clicking and dragging it up to make it brighter and bringing it down to make it darker. And what's really nice is you can target different parts of your photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the white of the dress and bringing that up. As you can see, it's now made two points inside our tone curve. And as you can see, this is an amazing tool when you either want to color grade your photo or just simply change the exposure. And there we go, guys. So there are my three hidden tools that you might not have known about inside Lightroom Classic, and hopefully you've learned something new.